Hello, today I'm going to show you how to embed a Kartra form onto a non Kartra page so that you can build your Kartra list and you can still add people with tags and automations and all of that other Kartra awesome stuff. But the form where they sign up is not on a Kartra page. It's on, I'm going to show you on a WordPress page, but you can do this on Wix, Weebly, Squarespace. I've done it all over the place. Anywhere you can put an embed code, you can put a Kartra form. So I'm going to start with a screen share. Let's have a look. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration of it. This is my blog page on my site. It's got my blog roll, and then down the bottom, I've got the call to action. Always know when, to, when a new blog comes. This is my Kartra form, and so when people come in here, they get added to my main newsletter list. If I wanted to, I could tag them, I could put them into automations, I could do anything I want. So, this is my Kartra backend. If yours doesn't look exactly like this, it's just that I've customized the color of my banner over here. I'm in my forms and I'm going to show you how this is done. You just click make a new form. This is a test. Create it. Do, 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 do. The waiting music. It's in my head anyway. Okay, so there's our form. You can add different fields if you want, obviously. I'm just going to save it like that. It's really good. And then click Save and Next. Confirmation, I like single opt-in. You can do double opt-in if you want. Click Save. Um, success page, I usually like to send people to a thank you page. I've got a bunch of those already made. I recommend having it so that people do go to a thank you page, but you can send them anywhere. You can send them back to your blog. Um, might be a bit boring. Better to start giving value to people straight away. This is a thanks page. Haven't even had coffee, people. It's just the, in the air today. I'm just perky. Okay, so here we go. Um, do you want to send them a welcome message? I'm a big fan of sending a welcome message. It's the start of the conversation. You could say something like, thanks for asking to always know when the latest blogs are. Here's a, another awesome good blog um, or some other cool bit of value that you offer to people. You might upsell to a small ticket item or you might invite them to receive an ebook or something and this is it automations where we can add tags we would this is important that you would choose to subscribe them to a list and i've been tripped up here before where i chose a list but i didn't click the add button i just clicked save and it defaulted to not adding them to a list so you have to make sure that you click that add and then click save you can subscribe them to a sequence. Um, this I would recommend that you create a sequence of a few recent blog posts and let them get to know you in the first week or so, um, maybe before you publish another blog. And any other advanced automations, which would be like um, add them to a membership or give them a specific tag or you can give them scoring. There's loads of cool options in there, which is why Couch is so amazing. Then save and next. And you just have to say, I'll embed the form on my own site. And then you launch the form builder and resolve things like button color, font. Otherwise, it's just going to look like this. And that's okay. But I like to brand everything. I like to give it my own flavor. And you can do all of that just by clicking edit and going around and changing it up. So once you've done that, you just click save and exit. And then you should be good to go. The next step should be click save, save and next. And then we would click JavaScript to get the form code. And here's our embed code. So you copy that. Now, I have a WordPress site. It has Divi theme on it. But you can do this anywhere that you can use the code option. So you can also do it just in a normal WordPress backend page like this, I'll show you. Um, oh, just nothing's loading fast enough for me today. Let's take a breathing break. <sighs> That's better. Okay.
And then you could use the default editor if you want. Um, and there's this code icon, a short code, because I've used it so many times. But if you're not seeing it up here, you can add a block and there's short code that's most used, but it's just under common blocks or something, isn't it? Formatting code, right? So you just choose that, then you paste your JavaScript from Kartra. I'll publish it, we'll have a look at it. And hopefully that worked, or this will be a pretty rubbish demo. Fingers crossed. <laughs> It didn't work. <laughs> well, that's just glorious. So that is not the usual way I do it. You probably know more about WordPress than me and know why that didn't work. So <sighs> awesome. This is the way I normally do it. I embed, I go into my visual builder, but this is really for Divi users. If you're not a Divi user, this is not going to be very helpful for you. Um, I usually call it an existing page, but let's just use the existing content because I might overwrite that. That's dud. I don't want that there. I choose the module called code, and this is specially designed that this will actually work. It doesn't actually display here, but when I save and exit, this time it's going to work. <laughs> oh, disco break. I love the endless spirals. I'm in Australia, as you can see. I have the great Australian internet. This might not work. I'm just going to pause while I resolve my internet issues. Oh, yeah. And now it's celebration song time because it worked. Now, obviously, you wouldn't really just have the form with this. You would have, you know, a heading and your video and all your other awesome marketing copywriting above that. You wouldn't just have a page with a form, although you could give it a try. It would be radical. So that's the warts and all version of how to embed it. Um, as I said, I've done it on a Weebly, which is, you know, Weebly is pretty not my favourite. Squarespace, I've done it on Wix. What's the other one? I've done it all over the joint anyway. Basically, it's just a matter of getting that embed code, choosing a code module or however you, you know, put some code onto your page, getting that embed code on and it should just display beautifully. That first example, my fail, is a good example of why I don't use the back end of WordPress <laughs> to do anything, why I love Divi Site. That code module makes it so easy. Hopefully, this was helpful. If you... Would like to see more videos from me it's probably it's an okay option to subscribe because if you subscribe every time i make a new blog not blog video you would be notified um and if you press notifications definitely it's gonna like ring at you when i make a new video um so if you want you could subscribe and if you liked it if you want you could give it a thumbs up or you could just send me good vibes through the ether I'll see you another time. Have a great day.